Sticking to a steady diet of Halloween candy, cocoa puffs, and coffee, I've gotten past my post-convention malaise and back into the infinity closet to talk about this month's acquisitions. Welcome to my mail call. Welcome to the Infinity Closet. I am Peter, and I had just got back from TFCon. Where was I? Reston? Reston. I wasn't resting. I was in Reston. It was in Virginia. And I had bought a whole bunch of other stuff. Watch that in that other video, wherever it is. Um, I, I didn't have much of a mail call this past month because, because I had to spend all my money in, in Virginia. So here's my mail call. I got Boost from X Transbots. He's awesome. I had fun with him. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see that I had a lot of fun with this guy on my, as a desk bot. I uh, had him use a captive of the Stunicons and they were forcing him to put stickers on people. It was a little thing I had going on. It's good. Good toy. Uh, I got a couple of these guys. Uh, well, they're both the same guy. I've got one open and one not so open. It's Power Dasher Chromar uh, from Generation Selects uh, based on the uh, Drill Dasher figure from 1984 from the Power Dasher's uh, mail order sub imprint line thing of uh, Generation 1. So that's good. Um, I visited my mom. My mom lives up near Reston. She's like an hour, 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour away. And my mom always hooks it up, always hooks it up with just the craziest stuff. She pulls things out. I don't know where she finds half this stuff, but it's really great to see. Um, got a couple of the ornaments, Transformers ornaments. I got a, a right on stocking with Optimus Prime and a Bumblebee, the 2019 Bumblebee Hallmark keepsake thing. Uh, so these are both great. They're gonna be going on the tree this year. Got some catch up from the last night. I got a second uh, radio controlled squeaks figure so I can open this up and play with this. Picked up a second Dragon Storm, uh, the big Cyberfire one, so I can open this up and play with this. And picked up the Target exclusive, what is it, a five pack? Six pack, six pack of the Cyberfire uh, one step changers who interact with the Dragon Storm figure. So I don't think I'm going to be opening this one up uh, because it's. I only have one of these. Here it is. Uh, so yeah, this is staying sealed, but that's about it. Good stuff from mom. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Hang on, hang on. The other thing, like the, the shiny, shiny, shiny prize. Check this out. It's a cake pan. It's an Optimus Prime head cake pan from the original movie. It looks like, you know, 2007-ish. Does it have a date on here? Doodly 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 It says 2009 here. Uh, it's, it's, it's in the metal, which is pretty neat. Uh, so I guess I would be, uh, what's it? Revenge of the Fallen. Um, incidentally, I watched Candyman for the first time last night with Tony Todd, who played the Fallen, like the voice of the Fallen in Revenge of the Fallen. Candyman's a terrible movie. It's dumb. Don't watch it. Blech. Um, yeah, Cake Pan. This is cool. This is way better than Candyman. This is Cake Man. Cake Pan. Cake Man Pan. Optimus Prime Cake Man Pan. Fun stuff. My mom always gets the good stuff. And I love, I love oddball pieces like this because you don't see them in collections very often. And yeah. So yeah. Thank you, mom. Love you. What's next? Bicycle. The Transformers Dark of the Moon Bumblebee bicycle for kids. Uh, this is another one that my mom found. Uh, I had it sitting back here. I forgot to mention it. It's a bike. It has a spider web on the box. But that's okay. We like spiders. It's a bicycle, 12 inch, bumblebee bike. Looks great. Uh, the you know the box has a little bit of wear, but the the the, the thing itself. Look, I'm coming out. I'm coming over here. Um, yeah, it's got like Autobot insignia tires, and and uh, I don't know. It's all decked out. Really neat. Uh, you don't see these very often. Again, because kids buy them, and or parents buy them for their kids, and then they just get played, and then. Pfft, they're gone. Uh, so you don't see things like this in collections very often. Uh, so I'm really, really happy to add this uh, to my movie collection. Uh, Dark of the Moon had some really interesting merch. The first three movies had some really interesting merch. So this is really cool. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the next wave of things that I got in the last month. Uh, these are things I picked up at TFCon Reston, but I did not buy them at TFCon Reston. I picked them up with my friend Nick at Big Tin Robot Toys, and we'll run through these. First up, we've got the the Nano Hollywood Rides. It's Transformers: The Last Night. Little teeny tiny micro machines looking. Uh, Optimus Prime, Megatron, or Megatron. The the yellow car is Megatron. Optimus Prime, Bumble and Bumble, in in both a modern uh, Camaro form and uh, what do you call it? Classic Camaro form. These are just more Dark of the Moon. I'm sorry, Last Night, Dark of the Moon, Movieverse. They're Movieverse. Little guys. 
Hollywood rides. This is nothing new. You know what these are. Eh. Thank you, Nick, by the way. I'm happy to add them, but just eh. Um, this is something interesting. <clears throat> uh, we got these from a guy in Brazil. It's supposed to be Transformers Generation 1 bottle caps as sponsored by Coca-Cola. It came with this little sheet and you're supposed to collect the bottle caps and put the bottle caps on the sheet. And then he had a picture of it all framed up and looking pretty pretty. Turns out it's something that he's been making himself, this, this guy, they're, so they're custom bottle caps. And some of the art, like the Ironhide in particular, is not vintage art. It's just, this is an interesting thing. Um, he's selling them for 20 bucks a pop, the set or whatever, and <laughs> pop, Coca-Cola, yeah. Um, and they're neat, but they're, I don't know. It's, since it's a custom, it's not an authentic piece of merch. I'm not sure what to do with this set or what to really make of it. It's neat if it were vintage. It's like I've got vintage Ziploc stuff and I've got vintage uh, you know, Frito-Lay stuff. And I've got vintage High C stuff. This is vintage Coca-Cola stuff, but it's not vintage and it's not officially Coca-Cola. So what is it? I don't know. Does anyone know? I don't know. It's interesting. What's next? Um, oh, I have to correct something I said earlier in this video. So I got Power Dasher Chromar. Uh, this was picked up for me by Nick at New York Comic Con, and it comes with the Chromar pin. And when I said Chromar earlier, when I was talking about these two Chromars that I got uh, in my in my mail call, actual mail call, uh, I said Drill Dasher, but it's actually the Jet Dasher. I was thinking Zatar, and it, I got it all crossed, and my wires are crossed. So I've got another Chromar. Uh, but I already have two Chromars, so I'm probably going to sell one of the sealed ones. Um, so, And he comes with a pin. I'm keeping the pin, obviously. It's a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, and Chromar was also uh, released alongside Generation Selects Hotshot, who came with, uh, available at the Entertainment Earth booth, came with a pin and a little ribbon. So got to keep the pin, got to keep the ribbon, got to keep the figure. I'm going to need another one of these Hotshots so I can open them up and play with them. Uh, because it's neat that Cybertron is getting some love. It's 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 hot shot in his uh, in his Cybertron appearance, like his second Cybertron appearance, uh, the the Cybertron Defense Hot Shot, which was called X X X Exidion was the regular car version. X X Geyser. X Geyser, that's a brave thing. X, because it was backpack, went to back guild, first aid went to first gunner, and Exedion went to X Guy, X Guy, X Geyser? No, that's not right. Cybertron Defense Hotshot, okay? It's using the Hound Mold from Siege. Uh, you know, they've got a new head. The head was revealed as a spoiler whoops, on the package art for Hound. So we knew this figure was coming, or we'd hoped, really, really hoped that this figure was coming. We kind of figured that the head was pre-tooled on the Hound mold and someone just looked at the wrong head when they were doing the box art or they just grabbed the wrong control art to put on the box for Hound. So we're happy to see this figure be made. Very cool that Cybertron's getting some love. And this guy can hang out with your Galaxy Force Convoy or Galaxy Force Optimus Prime or whatever you want to call him uh, from the Siege line, the leader class Galaxy Force Optimus. So that's cool got a, a masterpiece movie jazz or movie masterpiece mpm masterpiece movie masterpiece movie jazz you can rip them in half isn't that neat that's fun um got three of the burger king kids club uh cyberverse spark armor figures i got optimus prime i got some dude named mega something uh and then i've got some yellow car guy so it's interesting these were picked up my burger kings i'm in i'm in west central florida and none of my burger kings until you start moving into like the lakeland like central florida area none of my burger kings carry toys in their kids club meals anymore they don't even call it the kids club anymore they call it king meal i don't know i've been out of the loop on burger king for a while the last time burger king had a transformers theme uh kids meal was like in 2013 or so i want to say it might have been during prime um, but now they don't do it anymore, which is really bizarre. Um, some of the employees said that, and they're just wrong, but they said, we've never had toys in the kids meals. And that just means that they not worked at Burger King for very long. Um, but 
yeah, it was really, really strange. So called Burger King corporate and just talked to someone there and they said that it's up to, you know, per franchise, what to, uh, what to pick. And even on the dates on these things, it says March to June, 2019. So these were sitting around for three months. I don't know. It's just really strange. Uh, so I got three of them. I need, I need to pick up the fourth one. Should be easy to snag on eBay or whatever. Uh, so big thanks to, to Nick for finding something that wasn't available at all in my area. So much appreciated. What's next? Um, doo -doo 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 got three Han Cholo pins. I got blaster in tape deck mode, Megatron on a shield with a 35th anniversary call out and laser beak in tape, tape mode. Uh, these are all really great. Uh, I should buy doubles. I should buy doubles and wear them on things. I should get a sweet denim jacket and cut the sleeves off and, and put pins all over it. And yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing I picked up from Big Tin Robot is some uh, truck guy. Uh, his name is Convoy. I'm not familiar with him. Uh, he's a truck guy. He's big. Uh, and he, he transforms into a robot man who jumps, I guess. So he like jumps and shoots. Uh, and he comes with a bunch of stuff. And stuff is cool. I like stuff. And uh, yeah. This is an interesting thing. I'll have to open up and play with it at some point. So again, big shout out to Big Tin Robot, my friend Nick, uh, who hooked it up when I showed up at the show. Thank you. So that about does it for my acquisitions for the month of October 2019. A uh, very small mail call, but a very large uh, acquisition pile, uh, whether it was from the mail, from my mother, uh, or from uh, Big Tin Robot. Uh, and, and that doesn't even go into the things that I bought actually at TFCon Reston. So, and that's a different video. So yeah, huge month, lots of money spent. <laughs> um, and, but lots of cool acquisitions, this Optimus Prime, the, 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 the Burger King pieces, the New York Comic Con stuff, the, the pins, and these like delicate ribbons that you don't just find, and they're, oh, it's fantastic. Super excited, really cool stuff. Bicycle! Um, happy to add all of these pieces to the Infinity Closet. Um, so yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Forever Destron. Hey guys, thanks for checking out that video. Uh, if you like what I do here, you can find me on social media at Destron Peter. Uh, also, I am working on a project with my friend Matthew. Uh, we are, it's called TF Data Tracks and we do stuff. We talk about Transformers. Uh, it's a more collaborative thing. It's not just me talking to myself in a storage unit. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more uh, fun, uh, intimate. We hang out, we talk. Um, and yeah, and we strip off our human forms, uh, get out of these pretender shells and into our robot true forms, and we, we hang out and do whatever it is that we do. Um, so yeah, check that out, TF Data Tracks. You can find it on YouTube, you can find it on Facebook, um, and we have special guests, and we talk about comics, and we talk about toys, and we talk about all the stuff that makes us happy about Transformers fans, and some things that don't make us happy. So yeah, check out, check out TF, TF Data Tracks, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.